Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a fuel filter change on our diesel Jeep Wrangler. It's a pretty easy task. All you're going to need some simple hand tools or if you want to uh, use an impact you can. You're going to need a 1 and 1 8 socket for the actual fuel filter housing and a 10 millimeter to take off the armor that's protecting it. Um, don't forget your shock, socket wrench if you don't want to use an impact to take off the bolts. I recommend a pair of gloves because you might get your hands full of diesel. And uh, today we didn't purchase a Mopar actual filter, but the part number for the Mopar one is 6843-6631AA. Make sure you don't get the water fuel separator with it. All you need is an actual fuel filter. Uh, this one is a uh, Dox diesel. It's the same exact thing down to three microns filtration. It'll be located in the link below and it was just a little bit cheaper, but Per our nice Jeep Wrangler owner manual, it states at 20,000 miles We have to change the fuel filter. So we did the oil change at the dealership for free So let's go ahead and change the fuel filter at this point So we're under the Jeep now it's going to be located right below the driver's door handle. You'll come down and you'll see this little uh, round skid plate. Also has a little trail damage, so yours might look different. And you're going to be taking off four bolts right here, or actually three bolts. Located one, two, and three. So let's put you guys over here. and begin taking it off. So this is my first time doing it. I can already tell these bolts are really small, so when you're putting them back on, you don't want to really torque this down too much. So that's as easy as it is. Take off that little skid. Make sure we keep the bolts together. You got your little drain cock right here just in case your water light comes on. That you need to drain water out of your fuel. So we got our drain pan. You don't need a huge one. It's only going to be a couple of ounces of water coming out. I just so happen my oil pan is really big. So, remember lefty loosey, righty tidy. Once you get past the gasket, it becomes a little bit easier to turn. So that's where we move the drain pan over and can do it by hand. As you see a good bit came out piece of grass from off-roading we'll make sure you keep everything nice and clean reach in and pull out your filter so before installing it I want to show both filters to show that they look 100% identical other than the plastic top housing it's a little different insides are the same let's go ahead and uh, install them other than one has 
the Mopar part number on it, and this one does not. Another important thing to remember when you get your new filter is you need to change out the O-ring that comes on your housing. So it's easy to take off the old one, get a little fuel on your fingers, lube up the new one, put it in place. Goes between the two gaps right here. So you wanna make sure it's seated all the way in. All around. And then you go ahead and put the filter on, put the housing on. So let's get to that. And I'm gonna go put some gloves on. Right, so we got the filter, O-ring, housing on. Then we're gonna go, this goes up. So you wanna make sure these are perpendicular to the Jeep. It goes in. It's only one way that allows it to go in, there's little notches up on top. And you push it in, and boom, right there it stays on. So now we already pre-lubed our housing. Got a little speck of dirt. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get our housing up. Like everything else, you always want to start it by hand. So it's gonna go nice and easy till you hit that O-ring on there. See, there's the O-ring. Then we take our socket wrench. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. And there you go. You want the little spigot, the drain hole, right in the back. That way if you need to drain it, and you don't want to over tighten it because remember it's plastic. So it's nice and tight, spigot's over here. So now we go ahead, we can take off a glove again. We take our skid plate on. Remember this goes to the back, like so. get our bolts and we start those by hand as well so I'm going to do this and get back with you guys here in a minute So we got it installed, now we're going to move up and go to the instructions. So here on page 376, this shows you step by step written instructions of how to change your fuel filter. Now before starting your fuel filter, you want to make, or before you start on your Jeep, you want to make sure you prime your engine because that fuel filter housing is nice and dry so all you have to do is you go in without touching the brakes you put your ignition on and put it into the run position let it sit the pump will last for about 30 seconds do that two times and your fuel system will be fully primed and you won't have any problems with it sounding funny or anything like that so let's go ahead get into the jeep I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you don't touch the brakes at all, right? You just go ahead, come here. You can hear the pump. So that was one. Turn it off. Do it a second time. So there's your second one. Don't see any leaks. Go ahead, press in the brake. And there you go. 
no warning lights no check engine light starts up nice and fine just make sure you prime your vehicle twice real easy save yourself a couple hundred bucks don't go to the dealership just do it at home it's simple well i hope this video helped you with uh showing you how to change the fuel filter on the eco diesel wrangler or gladiator it'll be the same exact way um like i said before the amazon link will be in the description for the filter and i hope you guys stay safe on the trails till next time i'll catch you guys later bye